everyone, I'm Cheryl Hamilton and today I want to tell you about my sweet collection for July, which is Simply Elegant. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you everything that's included in this kit. My sweet collections are a fun way to get some coordinating products at a reasonable price. With the supplies in your kit, you'll be able to make approximately 24 cards and this month includes some boxes. You'll love having everything without having to purchase whole packs of everything. So um, this month, I'm focusing on Simply Elegant and you'll find the suite on page 68 and 69 of your annu annual catalog. It includes lots of um, golds and copper colors, and um, it's really beautiful. It's one of my favorites. Um, here's the papers. So you will get, for in my suite, you'll get a half a pack of the Simply Elegant Specialty Designer Series paper. Now look at this, it's so beautiful. So that's when you turn them over and they're grays and blacks and very vanilla. This one's my favorite by far. It's just so gorgeous. Here's the back of that. This one's really pretty. This is a neat pattern. And two more. And that's kind of neat too. And the last one, some leaves. To go along with this, I'm going to include 12 sheets of coordinating cardstock. So this time, I'm going to give you three sheets of basic gray, three sheets of basic black, three of thick very vanilla, and three sheets of the regular very vanilla. This is just to help you so you have you can make lots of cards. Um, I'm also going to give you a six by six piece of gold foil sheet and copper foil sheets. I don't know if you can see those. So you can add a touch of, you know, like a um, border of these or something. It'd be really pretty. Um, these are simply classic treat boxes. And um, I'm gonna give you five of these. Um, you will get two and a half yards of this silver shimmer trim. I never, sorry, I can't tell what you guys can see, but it's really pretty. It is, is it quarter inch? And then um, two and a half yards of the gold and this is um, 5 eighths inch. You'll also get two and a half yards of Simply Elegant trim. This comes in gold and silver. And half a package of gilded gems, which are really pretty. gold gems and um, last but not least bumblebee trinkets you'll get a half of a little box of these these are going to be adorable on your projects okay so that um, if you want the suite it is $29 plus shipping of $7.75 and um, just go ahead and leave a comment here or email me at Cheryl at createwithcheryl.me um, and I'll send you a PayPal invoice. Yeah, whenever you do these, I also will give you some um, PDF instructions that I send along with it. So stay tuned and I'm gonna show you a couple of card ideas. The first project I want to show you is called a TP fold card. So you can see how it's shaped that way. And it does fold flat for mailing. You um, open the little piece of Velcro there and you can see it just opens up flat. And if you fold it in half, it fits in a regular size envelope. And this is just a fun 
way to display your card. So I'll show you how it's done. I start with um, three pieces of four inch by four inch square cardstock. This is basic black. And I'm going to score it diagonally down the middle, score all three of them. So you just place it on your trimmer with the points in the little groove and just score it. And then um, I've cut two pieces of designer series paper. This is Simply Elegant Specialty Designer Series paper, which is gorgeous, so pretty, and cut it just a smidgen smaller. So it's um, three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And then I'm gonna cut these diagonally. So again, putting the points in the little groove and this time, instead of scoring, I'm cutting them. Okay, so I, I did one already. I've got three pieces like that. Um, then I'm going to just crease these really well, my card bases. I want them to, I wanna do it um, creasing it both ways because I really want it to be able to fold well. One. Okay. Um, to put this card together, you um, start with one piece of your basic black and um, make the crease line just go, you know, like north and south and um, the point at the top and bottom. And then you're going to end up, um, got to think about this. So one of the pieces is going to go like this, which is the flat edge against the crease line and both of the um, points are going to line up at the very tip here, okay? So you don't want to add, um, you don't want to put glue all over the place or it's going to be a mess. So I'm basically gluing the top here. Let me see. Because I can add some glue underneath later. So I hope you can see this on black, but um, I think you can. And then I'm going to do the other one. Yeah, just remember, don't put glue all the way down because it'll be a mess. And then you can go under and add a little more to this later. Okay. Okay, and to decorate it, I'm gonna grab my Design Series paper and I'm just doing um, three of these flaps. There's lots of different ways you could do it. You could add a white piece also to um, put a, so that you could stamp some a sentiment or something on there. But this is just to show you how to do the basic piece. I like using this, um, my Tombow um, or the green glue <laughs> because it gives me a couple of seconds to position it so that I can get it straight. It's my favorite glue. There's a second one. But yeah, this paper is amazing. It's so pretty. And the neat thing is I have some, we have copper and gold and silver that comes in a bundle that is um, embossing powder. So I'm gonna use the copper one today.
Okay, so that's basically how you do it. And then, let me think about it. Yeah, you just, you close it, like fold it up and it will close like that. And then it can set down to display your card. And so I'm just gonna add, I, I am adding a half of a Velcro dot, oops, that I just got at my local craft store. And let me see where the other one's positioned. Yeah, it's just positioned in the corner. Right here. Sorry, it's sticking to me really well. <laughs> Okay, so if I do this, um, there you go. So that's how it's closed up and set. So that's the basics of it. I'm gonna start with a piece of Whisper White that is one by three and a half inches. And I picked a, um, sentiment from Elegantly Said that has beautiful fonts and I love this corner um, image and the flowers and really love this border thing here that you might not have even noticed. So let me ink it up with Versamark and try to get it straight. I'm gonna um, use copper embossing powder, which will be so pretty with this. Here's my heat gun on. The next card I want to show you is this beautiful card that I've cased from um, Stephanie. I can't remember her last name, but she's from Canada and she's called the Crafty Medic. She's really talented. I love following her. And um, so thank you, Stephanie, for this card. And um, it starts with um, Smoky Slate, which is um, eight and a half by five and a half, and then it scored down the middle at four and a quarter. I'm just gonna fold it. And then the first layer is um, a white card base, and I cut that at five and a quarter by four. And I like to, instead of gluing it right down, I like to stamp first. Um, first of all, there's it's a real, um, it's real hard underneath it. There aren't a bunch of layers. And also, probably the main reason is so I can flip it over if I make a mistake. <laughs> so, um, and then the other two pieces that I'm cutting are um, basic black, four inches by one and three quarter. And then this pretty, elegantly said designer series paper that is four by one and a half. Okay, so... Um, I'll start by just gluing these um, the designer series paper to the black piece. Okay, and then I'm going to do some stamping on my white. see um I'm I'm using the stamp set elegantly said because it all goes along with the suite um, you might want to purchase this or the bundle which has a nice punch with it um, to go along with your suite if you purchase this and um, this is one of my favorite 
border punches. I just, I'm not a punch, it's a border image. I really love these. And I'm gonna line it up first so that I kinda know where to put this. And um, let me see, let me start with the flower on the bottom because that'll show me how much I need to do it. This is Smoky Slate and here's a flower image. I'm putting in the middle. There we go. And then um, now I want to do a little bit darker. I'm going to grab basic gray. And put this, I'm trying to judge where to put this. I'm, I'm going to turn it over because it's so long. So I get all of it and I'm just stamp stamping it with basic gray. Let me go right above it. And I kind of put my finger in the middle so that it um, inks, inks up the whole thing, you know, and it isn't really light right in the middle. Let me do another for the bottom. Isn't that neat? What a pretty stamp. I like that one. And glue it on top. I just go like this to make sure that it's lined up really well. And then um, I need a birthday card. So I'm going to do wishing you a wonderful birthday in basic gray. Okay, once I've decided that I've stamped it all pretty well, I'm going to glue it down here. Once I'm happy with it, so. There you go. And, um, I'm just going to finish it up with some metallic pearls. Those come in silver and gold, and I've got some silver ones here that'd be really pretty. So there's your card. You could put a piece of white on the inside if you like, or um, you could still see if you write on this. Okay, and so I um, wanted to show you a cute little project I made with these boxes. Um, you get five boxes in your pack. I just covered it so that um, it could be a party favor along with your TP card. You could all three of them go together just fine. and. Um, I thought it was really cute with the bees. These things are really cute. I forgot about this. They come with a little loop on the top. You pull the loop and then you've got your box inside. And um, I didn't have any truffles, but these would be super cute if you made a little a thing on the inside and cut a circle in it so that you could set a nice gold lender, uh, lindle truffle in there and do this, that'd be such a cute little gift. So I'm gonna have to look for those at the store. So you guys, thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you'd like to purchase this sweet collection this month, and I hope you got some good ideas there. Okay, aloha.